Hello, I'm Craig. And I'm Debbie. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to part of the Prevention Plus series. Today we're going to be discussing cardiovascular health. What you will learn today is the importance of heart health. What part the heart plays in our circulatory system, inflammation and how it affects our heart, how to support the heart, lifestyle and a healthy heart, and steps to improve your heart health. Let's first review the circulatory system. You can see here, depicted on the left side of the screen, uh, all of the parts of the circulatory system. This includes the functions of the heart, the arteries, and the veins. This is a network that delivers blood with each heartbeat carrying oxygen and nutrients to all the cells of the body. Our body's lifeline, that's what the circulatory system is. Now there are two types of, of circulation. There's the pulmonary and there's a systemic circulation. So let's talk briefly about the pulmonary cir circulation first. This is a short loop from the heart to the lungs and back again, whereas the systemic circulation sends blood from the heart to all other parts of our body and back again. The heart. The term cardiac, as in cardiology, means related to the heart, the most vital organ in the human body. This is a muscular organ that provides continuous circulation of blood through the cardiac cycle. About the size of a fist, the heart weighs approximately 9 to 11 ounces in females and about 11 to 12 ounces in males. The average heart, human heart beats about 72 times per minute and approximately 2.5 billion times during an average 66-year lifespan. Now we hope with Young Living that we can live a lot longer than 66 years, don't we? So here's a picture of the heart, and it's actually pumping. You can see the pumping action of the left and right ventricle. This acts as a double pump. And the right side collects the deoxygenated blood, and the left side collects the oxygenated blood. It pumps the blood through the blood vessels to the body tissues by repeated rhythmic contractions. It delivers oxygen and nutrients and removes wastes. The circulation of the blood keeps the body tissues at the proper temperature as well. And did you know that heart disease is the number one cause of death in the Western world? So let's discuss the arteries, veins, and capillaries for just a moment. These are what we call the blood vessels. The arteries carry blood away from the heart. Blood seeps and flows back toward the heart to be repumped through the veins. The large aorta artery branches into smaller arteries called arterioles. And arterioles lead into the smallest blood vessels called capillaries. Capillaries are the starting point for the return of the blood to the heart. Let's mention uh, a few of the circulatory disorders. The first one is myocarditis. This is inflammation or degeneration of the heart muscle. Some of the symptoms may include fever, chest pains, palpitations, difficult or labored breathing, and fatigue. There's really no specific treatment for myocarditis um, from a medical perspective. However, we are um, promoting prevention. Preve prevention is the key. Some of the causes of myocarditis are, are complications after various viral or bacterial or parasitic infections. Um, also polio, in, influenza, and rubella or rheumatic fever can cause complications and um, lead to myocarditis. Angina pectoris. This is chest pains behind the breastbone. Some of these symptoms will include increased heart rate, increased blood pressure, chest pain, burning in the throat, feelings of indigestion, shortness of breath. It may occur spontaneously. The primary symptom of coronary heart artery disease. Some of the causes are vasoconstricting medication. So as we go through our presentation today, you want to you know, make note of those therapeutic grade essential oils that are vasodilating. So if you are taking vasoconstricting medication, you can help um, with that side effect. Um, 
it may be emotional stress and keep note of that as well because you're going to find that a lot of these um, particular cardi cardiac diseases are stress related. Atherosclerosis is the le leading cause of angina and angina pectoris is Latin for squeezing of the chest. Let's Let's mention high blood pressure as well. You know, it's estimated that over 60 million Americans have high blood pressure, and 35% of them don't even know that they have it. It's directly related to uh, increases, uh, it, it's directly related to the increase of heart disease, like heart attack and stroke. Blood pressure can be improved through behavior modifications, like changing the diet and increasing exercise. This is the force exerted by circulating blood in the blood vessels, known as the silent killer. There are no symptoms, but again, the causes include stress, high fat diet, lack of exercise, medications, physical abnormalities, chronic diseases, and even birth control pills. Atherosclerosis. This is a buildup of fatty material in the coronary artery that causes narrowing and decrease in blood flow. So what we're wanting to look for are those things that widen those uh, coronary arteries, uh, vasodilators again. Some of the symptoms are shortness of breath, tightening pain in the chest, um, the, and the causes could be diet, stress again, stress, lack of exercise, and even smoking. This is the most common form of heart disease, and it's progressive, develops being in any artery in the body. So remember, this is a buildup of fatty material in the coronary artery, as opposed to arteriosclerosis, which is hardening or a loss of elasticity of the small arteries and is associated with hypertension and or diabetes. Some of the symptoms that you might see with Arterial sclerosis are shortness of breath, angina or chest pain, fatigue because you're not getting that, um, that uh, pulsing action in your arteries, you're not getting the blood flow, you're not getting the oxygenation, abnormal heart beat, symptoms may not manifest until the complications occur, but again, the causes are stress, our diet, which could be high cholesterol, or just our liver producing too much cholesterol. Uh, obesity, smoking, high blood pressure, and high blood sugar. And I actually have a theory about uh, arterial sclerosis, and I had actually um, read a book, and it was talking about the causes of hardening of the arteries. It's not so much, I believe, uh, that we're eating a high cholesterol diet as it is that we're drinking chlorinated water. And what they're finding is that chlorinated water actually has the ability to pit the arteries or weaken the arterial walls. So what we want to do is we want to find something that's going to strengthen those arterial walls so that the liver doesn't begin to make the patch material to patch up those weakened walls or those leaky spots in the, in the arterial walls. Um, so we want to stay away from chlorinated beverages. And you know, a lot of times we just think, oh, well, then I shouldn't drink chlorinated water out of the sink. But we tend to forget that there's chlorine in many of the drinks that we purchase on the market today. They're not taking that chlorine out of the water. If they're adding water to juice, if they're adding water to soda, if they're adding water to beer, um, any of the beverages, it's going to be chlorinated. So you're adding to the problem. The, the liver says, I need patch material. It begins to make cholesterol. It puts more cholesterol in the blood, and then it patches uh, with cholesterol on, those, on the interior walls of the arteries, causing arterial sclerosis and also atherosclerosis because of that fatty material buildup. Stroke. This is a sudden death of brain cells in a localized area due to inadequate blood flow. So strokes are directly related to the brain. Some of the symptoms might be sudden change in vision, numbness of the face or weak arms or legs, weakness on one side of the body. You might get disoriented, have slurred speech, or trouble understanding others. Trouble walking, uh, maybe your equilibrium seems off, you're getting dizzy, la la loss of balance or coordination. Also painful headaches 
that that come on on suddenly and there's no known cause. This could be uh, part of the symptoms of a stroke. Some of the causes are arteriosclerosis. Um, a, when uh, a piece of that fatty buildup breaks away from the arterial wall, it can get lodged into the brain cause, causing a stroke. We're going to talk about two types of strokes here in a minute. Also high blood pressure. And high blood pressure, again, can be caused by narrowing of the, um, the, the blood vessels and lack of oxygen or a combination of all three of those. Medications may increase the risk as well. So let's talk about two types of stroke. The first type is ischemic and the second time is hemorrhagic. Uh, and we'll do that on the next slide, but I did want to make a note. A transient ischemic attack or a TIA is often called a mini stroke. And mini strokes only last like a few minutes and they can be, you know, you can have them frequently. So uh, we want to make sure that we're uh, uh, using prevention and getting our blood vessels and our heart and our cardiovascular system in tip top shape. So let's talk about these two different types of strokes right now. The ischemic stroke, which is a blockage of blood flow to the brain. And it includes two types. The first one is the thrombotic stroke, or strokes caused by a blood clot. It develops in the arteries supplying blood to the vein, to the brain, excuse me. The second type of ischemic stroke is an embolic stroke, which is often a result from heart disease or heart surgery and can occur rapidly and without any warning signs. The hemorrhagic stroke, on the other hand, is a blood vessel in the brain that is leaking or broken and includes two types the intracerebral hemorrhage, which is usually caused by hypertension, high blood pressure, and bleeding will occur suddenly and rapidly, or the su subarachnoid hemorrhage, which results when bleeding occurs between the brain and the meninges in the subarachnoid space. <clears throat> Another type of cardio cardiovascular disease would be the deep vein thrombosis. And this is a formation of a blood clot inside a blood vessel which obstructs the flow of blood through the circulatory system and it most often happens in the arms or the legs. The symptoms would be wherever that blood clot um, resides, there'll be swelling, there'll be warmth and redness, it'll be extremely painful, you'll have weakness in the limb because it's cutting out the oxygen flow, you'll get a loss of sensation in the affected area. And the clauses are slow blood flow, inactivity, obesity, and aging. Uh, I, I hate to say aging because we can age gracefully and we can age in health. So I don't like to put my finger on aging. Um, causes are blood clotting too easily, caused by maybe chemotherapy or birth control pills, or an inherited blood disorder. We want to make sure that we um, keep those platelets, those blood platelets from sticking together and we're going to tell you how you can do that. The blood vessel damage is one of the causes um, if you've had an injury or broken bones or surgery or even atherosclerosis. So let's talk about some of the therapeutic essential oils that are supportive for the cardiovascular health. First of all, let's talk a little bit about antioxidant antioxidant and free radical scavenging activities of the essential oils. Now we've talked about this before in some of our other Prevention Plus series, uh, but it, it bears repeating because one of the best ways to learn is repetition. And I really want you to understand that free radicals are triggered by several factors. The air we breathe, the water we drink, and the food that we eat. So pollution, chlorine, there we have that chlorinated water again. Normal metabolic processes will cause free radical damage. So if we could eliminate pollution and chlorine and stress and even exercise and poor diet, then our body should be able to handle the normal metabolic process of dying cells causing free radical uh, activity. Several diseases connected with the heart are directly associated with the accumulation of free radical activity. And antioxidants in the blood, the cells, and the tissue fluids play an important role in neutralizing the normal level of oxidative damage caused by these free radicals. Many essential oils 
were tested and found to have very high antioxidant activity. And active antioxidant compounds in therapeutic grade essential oils are oxygenated monoterpenoids, monoterpene hydrocarbons, as well as all of the phenols. So if you're interested in learning more about the monoterpenoids, the monoterpene hydro hydrocarbons, and what oils have phenols in it, I would really like to recommend the chemistry of essential oils made simple by Dr. David Stewart. He really presents chemistry at a very lay level so that you can read and understand maybe a subject that was a little daunting to you in, in college or even uh, upper level high school and he brings it to you in a form that's uh, very understandable. So I really highly recommend that book. One of the oils that uh, anyone ha wanting to support the cardiovascular system should have on hand is Aromalife. Now Aromalife is a blend. It's a beautiful blend of oils which strengthen the cardiovascular system, vitalizes the heart, improves overall circulation, helps to lower blood pressure, alleviates stress, balances heart function, actually regenerates smooth muscle tissue, it's a diuretic, and it calms the nervous system. The applications of the Aroma Life can include topically over the heart, and this is where uh, I recommend everybody start one or two drops every morning, you know, after your shower, before you go to work in the morning, put a couple of drops of Aroma Life over the heart. You can also put it on the heart Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet. You can add it to bath water, you can diffuse it and inhale it. It has beautiful oils in it. You could also um, put these in a capsule and take them orally as well. It has an oil of cypress. Now cypress helps to act as a diuretic, but it also helps to increase circulation. It has marjoram in it, and marjoram is the, one of the main oils in this blend that regenerates smooth muscle tissue. It has heliochrysum, it has ylang-ylang, and we know that ylang-ylang has been shown to be very effective in lowering blood pressure. So let's talk a little bit about heliochrysum because heliochrysum is part of the blend. You can always take your oils, for example, taking a blend and taking one of the oils in the blend and using that in a layering fashion over that blend. And you could do that with heliochrysum. The beautiful thing about heliochrysum is it has the ability to reduce plaque inside the arteries. Now remember, plaque is the atherosclerosis, uh, excuse me, the arterial sclerosis, the hardening or the loss of elasticity of those uh, blood vessels. And so a lot of people will get plaque buildup on the carotid arteries on each side of their neck, and heliochrysum and aroma life are great to, uh, to, for reducing that plaque buildup. Uh, it's also an anticoagulant, so it helps with the stickiness of the blood platelets that I was talking about earlier, helping to keep the blood thin and flowing. It also activate, alleviates hypertension, and remember, stress is one of the main causes of heart disease. It supports the circulatory system. It dissolves blood clots. This is wonderful. It is very beneficial in in healing for varicose veins, arterial sclerosis, and atherosclerosis because of the fact that it reduces blood stickiness and it helps to regulate the blood cholesterol. Beautiful oil. Here's some scientific research on heliochrysum. First of all, research has shown that a ketone in heliochrysum oil binds to cholesterol transporters in the blood. When it does that, it actually reduces cholesterol levels in the blood as well as fats in blood arteries and, and the, the liver. It contains rutin, which, which reduces the cytotoxicity of oxidized LDL cholesterol, and it contains antioxidants, which alleviate inflammation. This is definitely a high free radical scavenger. The next oil I'd like to mention is clove oil. This is the highest antioxidant oil on the planet today. It has an, just over a, a million on the ORAC scale, which is the oxygen radical, it's the ability to kill um, free radical scavengers. It's also an anticoagulant, so it's going to help keep that blood viscosity where it's supposed to be, um, 
uh, avoiding those sticky platelets again. It's superior cardiovascular support. It prevents cell damage, and it protects the blood plasma from free radical damage. And mu much of this has been cited by research um, that you can look up later if you'd like. You can use this one as a dietary supplement as well. Lemongrass. Now, lemongrass is something that we use on a daily basis at, uh, in our home here because of the fact that it has a great ability to lower blood cholesterol. It dilates the blood vessels, so there's your vasodilator. It strengthens the capillaries to reduce varicose veins, and it improves circulation. The Department of Nutritional Sciences at the University of Wisconsin Findings were published in the Journal of Lipids in 1989, and according to the Dean, or according to Dean Coleman's website, after three months, cholesterol levels among the responders had decreased by a significant 38 points. When the participants of the study stopped taking the lemongrass, cholesterol levels returned to their previous levels. So how do we take lemongrass? You can apply it um, on location or on the Vitaflex points of the of the heart of the heart Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet. You can diffuse it or inhale it, but what I recommend is that you take it internally. 10 to 20 drops in a double lot capsule daily as a daily supplement. And the great thing about lemongrass is it's very inexpensive, so um, 20 drops a day, you know, a bottle will last you quite a long time because this is a 15 milliliter bottle. Marjoram oil was also um, part of the Aroma Life Blend, because of its ability to provide smooth muscle heart support. The National Research Center in Cairo, Egypt, has concluded that marjoram essential oil has a significant potential to be used as a natural antioxidant. So you can see how all of these are working in tandem to eliminate free radical damage, eliminate stress, strengthen the heart muscle, um, and eliminate free radical scavenging. It's a relaxant, so there's the stress, it calms nerves, it dilates or widens the blood vessels, again a vasodilator, lowers blood pressure, improves circulation, it too is a diuretic and it relieves spasms. Applications include on, on location, on the heart Vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet, you can diffuse it and inhale it, you can take it as a dietary supplement, and it's also part of the raindrop technique. So if you do have some issues, I would recommend thinking about getting a raindrop uh, technique applied to the back, maybe you know once or twice a month, and uh, really boost the immune system, boost the cardiovascular system, and this would be a great um, method of prevention. Cypress and rosemary, these are two beautiful oils as well, and cypress was part of the Aroma Life blend again. Cypress is shown to be uh, very beneficial in improving circulation, strengthening the blood capillaries. It is a diuretic, so it discourages fluid, fluid retention in um, cases of edema. It's very effective for reducing varicose veins, so you might want to use cypress along with the heliochrysum if you have a varicose vein problem. It's very grounding, it's very calming. The more we use these oils, the less we react to stress and the easier it is on the cardiovascular system. It's also antispasmodic. Rosemary, on the other hand, can increase arterial and peripheral circulation. It is said to promote the circulation of energy in the body. It's very detoxifying, it's a diuretic, and it's generally fortifying to the body. Uh, I know I was uh, listening to Gary recently, and he was mentioning on one of his uh, CDs that he had begun taking 10 drops of rosemary and 10 drops of lemon oil in a double lock capsule daily with good results. Uh, applications may include massaging toward the center of the body on heart Vitaflex points. You can diffuse it and inhale it that way or it can be taken as a dietary supplement. Either one of these can be taken as a dietary supplement. When we're massaging on the legs for cases of edema with the cypress oil, we want to always massage up toward the heart. So here's a case study that I took from the Aromatherapy for Health Professionals by Shirley Price, who is an aromatherapy practitioner in Lancashire, 
and it's on lymphedema. It's actually addressing lymphedema. And this is how this case study reads. Uh, Pam has suffered swollen legs and ankles for many years. Wounds took a very long time to heal. She was referred to a circulatory specialist and was diagnosed with lymphedema, and he was very sympathetic to the use of essential oils in her treatment. The treatment consisted of a leg massage carried out weekly for eight weeks and was given a blend to use twice daily to increase circulation and assist in drainage of the lymphatic system. The following oils were used both in the clinic and at home. Eight drops of rosemary, eight drops of cypress, six drops of lemongrass, and eight drops of Roman chamomile. Now they put this in a carrier oil of sweet almond, passion flower, and evening primrose. The outcome was that over the eight weeks of treatment, Pam reported that after each one, her legs felt much lighter and calmer. They did not ache as much, and there was great improvement in the quality and texture of her skin. The blemishes cleared up quickly, and the lumps disappeared. Her legs remain in good health. Another oil that I'd like to mention is ylang-ylang, and ylang-ylang again is part of the Aromalife blend, so you can layer these two. Ylang-ylang is very antispasmodic, it's vasodilating, widening the blood vessels, uh, it's anti-inflammatory, it helps regulate heartbeat, it's supportive to cardiac problems, reduces anxiety and stress, allevi alleviates hypertension, and it's known as an adaptogen, which helps to normalize body function. Again, I tout this one as being very effective in lowering high blood pressure, and if you have low blood pressure, it can normalize that blood pressure. Applications may include on location, which would be over the heart, or on the heart vitaflex points on the bottom of the feet. You can diffuse ylang ylang and inhale it. It may also be taken as a dietary supplement, and we have taken it as a dietary supplement here in our home and my husband puts it on over his aroma life. Here's a couple of testimonials from Jude Kerr out of New York. He says, I've been experiencing a fast heart rate in the 90s and 100s, even at rest. I tried aroma life essential oil blend on my feet once daily, two drops to each foot. I also applied it to the base of my ring finger on each hand and over my heart. I chose this blend because it was supportive for cardiac health. My heart rate is now primarily in the 60s to high 70s, even after moderate exercise. So that's a big difference in heart rate. Uh, here's another one from Michelle out of California. She states, a friend was in the hospital with severe arterial sclerosis. He had one leg amputated and was expecting to have angioplasty to the other leg to improve circulation on that limb. He was extremely ill. His whole body was full of disease and also very depressed from the loss of his leg. I started using Aroma Life on him every few days. Also, I used some peppermint, trauma life for the shock, and some others as needed. The day he was supposed to have the surgery, I came to his room and he was sitting up eating. The surgery was not done because the doctor said the body had healed itself. And you know, I believe that God has given our bodies the ability to heal themselves. So we just have to give it the right tools. So let's talk a little bit about supplements for a healthier heart. You know that Young Living has some of the most astounding supplements, and one of those is Omega Blue. This is an incredible supplement that should be taken daily. It maintains healthy cholesterol levels. It prevents inflammation. It, protect, it protects the cardiovascular system. It is an antioxidant. It supports the heart, and omega-3s have proven significant reduction in blood pressure. The recommended daily dose of no less than 600 milligrams of omega-3 is, is what is recommended, and one serving or three capsules of omega blue meets the recommended minim, minimum daily dose. The beauty of omega blue is that it is enteric-coated, which means that it opens up in the small intestine where 80% of the omega-3s are absorbed. Now, if we take um, omegas that are not enteric-coated, they get um, destroyed. About 80% of the omegas get destroyed by hydrochloric acid in the stomach. So we really want to take our omegas in an enteric-coated um, delivery system, and that's what we've created here with um, the Omega Blue. 
It also contains essential oils of lemongrass, myrrh, clove bud, and German chamomile, and this protects the integrity of the omegas so that they don't get rancid and cause uh, or add to more free radical damage. So this is just a wonderful supplement that I believe everybody should be taking on a daily basis. Another great product that Young Living has is Mineral Essence. And Mineral Essence um, is integral to the function of our body. Minerals are. There are 60, over 60 ionic minerals in Mineral Essence. And minerals actually attach to enzymes to help them work properly. So minerals are required for the contraction of muscle fiber. They're imperative for healthy heart. Uh, magnesium found in the mineral essence aids in blood vessel dilation and also in a good heart rhythm. Potassium found in mineral essence aids in nerve and muscle fu function of the heart. It helps to balance the electrolytes in the blood and without minerals vitamins cannot be assimilated or absorbed into the body. So you can see how important it is to get our minerals and I will say that from working with clients over the last 10 years that we are not getting the green leafies and the minerals that we should be from our diet. We need to bump it up with uh, mineral essence. Another very important supplement is uh, the B vitamins. And we have a great B vitamin supplement called Super B. Did you know that B vitamins help to lower cholesterol? They also protect the heart and the blood vessels preventing heart disease. This particular blend of B vitamins is um, very, very comprehensive, and we have now got a new formula out, which is a non-flushing vitamin B. So you don't have to worry about taking this at a certain time of day or taking it with food in most cases, because you're not going to get that nice and flush that you get from other B, vitamin B supplements. Rahemogen is a tincture which contains herbs that were used by Native Americans to cleanse, purify, disinfect, and build the blood. It fights free radicals and supports the red blood cells and the immune system. Darlene Wimmer states that her daughter has ITP. This is a virus in the spleen that pretends to be a blood platelet, causing her to bleed internally. She could literally bleed to death. She had to have blood transfusions all the time. Well, back in the middle 1990s, they started using multigreens and rehemogen on her, and she no longer has the problem. She came to visit one time and ran out because she was doing so good, and she decided to wait to order more when she got home. That was a mistake because she had to have a blood transfusion. So she is never without either of them now. And it's amazing to me how something like rehemogen and multigreens could literally uh, reverse the problem that she was having. And of course, it didn't take overnight to get the problem, so she'll probably have to take it for a long time to strengthen um, her spleen and how it reacts. MegaCal is something that supports the vascular and circulatory system. This is a calcium. And uh, it comes in a tub with a little scoop. You can put a scoop in your smoothies in the morning. It helps to regulate normal heart rhythm. It ensures that the heart and the blood vessels function normally. It's a wonderful source of calcium, magnesium, manganese, and vitamin C. And it helps to maintain that blood vis viscosity that we're looking for, that um, you know, keeping those blood plate platelets free-flowing and not sticking together. And of course, we would be amiss if we didn't speak of Ningxia Red and how it strengthens the cardiovascular system. This, taken daily, can lower the risk of heart disease. It normalizes blood pressure. It's a very rich source of antioxidants. It reduces cholesterol and triglycerides. It increases energy and strength, and it helps to alleviate pain and inflammation. It also contains the oils of lemon and orange, which are very, very effective in um, you know, depression and uh, they're anti-tumoral, so they all shrink tumors. It's, it's just very, very uh, strengthening to the whole body and all of its systems. <clears throat> Here is a before and after picture of blood cells before they 
drank Ningxia Red, and after. It says, our blood becomes more oxidized and sticky with age. As our blood tends to clot faster, our risk of heart attack and stroke increases. Some high antioxidant whole foods are the most effective means of reducing this stick stickiness. So here's the blood of a volunteer before consuming two ounces of Ningxia Red, uh, which is a puree of Ningxia Wolfberry, it's pomegranate juice, blueberry, and other essential oils and juices. And then just 10 minutes later, look at the difference in the blood platelets. They're not sticking together anymore. So this is improving the viscosity of the blood. So let's talk a minute about how you can increase your cardiovascular health by embarking on a 90-day program. The first step of this 90-day program would be to enroll to receive your wholesale membership. How to receive wholesale membership? We would recommend the Healthy Heart Collection of the Ningxia Red. Uh, we just talked about the Ningxia Red and how it's great for reducing blood stickiness, strengthening the cardiovascular system. In this particular uh, collection, you're going to get four liters of Ningxia Red to start, 10 bonus travel packs. Plus, you're going to get a bonus bottle of lavender and peppermint. You're going to get a $40 off coupon for any Young Living diffuser. And you're going to get 24% off on all future Young Living products because it's going to make you a wholesale member. And this is what we recommend. We would rather have you save them, your money uh, as opposed to buying at retail and then just get a wholesale account and then you can um, feel like you're being less burdened financially because you've got a much better uh, buy, 24% uh, decrease in, from, from retail. The step two would be to enroll in your 90-day cardiovascular health essential rewards program. Why would you want to get a monthly shipment? Well, first of all, every shipment you can earn 10, 15, and up to 20% in free product. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in just a minute as we give you our recommendations for your 90-day health program. You will also uh, receive reduced shipping and nobody likes to pay high shipping pro uh, prices so this this is a win-win. You get discounted pricing on exclusive product packages and you'll never run out of your products to ensure that your 90-day cardiovascular health plan is a success. So here are a couple of suggestions for your first essential rewards. So you're ordering your uh, Ningxia Red collection, and then on your first essential reward, we'll recommend that you get your Omega Blue, because I recommend that you take this daily. You're going to get your Aroma Life Oil, that you can, your blend that you can put over your heart or on the Vitaflex points on the bottom of your feet. And we recommend that you start using a good uh, absorbable calcium. This one has the magnesium in it and um, it has vitamin C in it. It's just great for supporting the cardiovascular system. This gives you um, a total wholesale price of $107, and in the first six months, you're going to receive 10% rebate on each one of your essential rewards orders. So you would receive $10.70, which is put into a piggy bank at Young Living, and after your second month of being on the essential rewards, you can actually start turning that in for uh, point for dollar um, rebate and getting free product. This is great. The only thing you have to do is pay shipping and tax on that essential rewards order. The second suggestion that we, we have, uh, probably in your second month then, is longevity. Now we didn't talk about longevity, but it is a free radical um, uh, scavenger. It will uh, boost your antioxidant level in the blood. Uh, we also recommend cypress oil, which we talked about earlier. It increases circulation. It's a vasodilator. It helps with edema. And also, it's great for varicose veins. And then to get your minerals, we're recommending your mineral essence. And to strengthen the blood, we're recommending rehemogen. All of this comes to a wholesale price of $101, which gives you another $10.10 in your piggy bank at Young Living to spend on free product in a couple of months. And then the third suggestion, by the third month, you're ready for another bottle of Omega Blue. You might want to add your Super B, your B complex to your dietary supplementation. Uh, the clove oil, 
You can start taking that in capsules. Uh, you could take it with the lemongrass to help lower blood cholesterol and fight free radical damage. All of this would come to a price of one hundred three fifty, giving you another ten dollars and thirty five cents in essential rewards. So by now you've got thirty dollars in savings, and you can buy um, something else that you know you want to add to your um, cardiovascular health. So here's a couple of healthy heart diet tips. First of all, think about eating smaller portions. The basic rule is your meat portion should be no larger than a deck of cards. Avoid foods with high concentrations of saturated fat and trans fat. And that means if you absolutely have to have french fries, why not make them at home? Why not um, slice up uh, fresh potatoes and season them with a little bit of sea salt and maybe um, peanut oil or uh, olive oil or even coconut oil and then bake them in the oven until they're crisp and, and eat them that way instead of using uh, french fries that you buy at a, a fast food restaurant that are full of trans fats and add to a very unhealthy cardiovascular system. Drink a tall glass of water and add lemon or another essential oil for flavoring and we want you to drink half your body weight in ounces a day. That means about 64 ounces of water a day or 8 to 10 glasses. Uh, putting in your lemon oil or whatever uh, oil you wanted to add. Cut back on sodium. Use spices such as juice spice which is a young living product that will give your food that extra flavor and, and be good for uh, your body systems. It's very healthy. It's got spinach and beets in it and it's very, very tasty. Only eat lean cuts of meat. Eat more fresh fruits. Eat more fresh vegetables. Snack on the vegetables uh, instead of, you know, ch chips and pretzels which might have trans fats in them and also just add calories and not uh, vitamins and mineral nutrients. Read your food labels and cut back on snacking. Try a piece of fruit and a tall glass of water. Take your time when you eat. We're not in any hurry. Eat slowly, giving yourself time to digest your food and register a sense of fullness. Here's some heart healthy exercise tips. Slow and steady wins the race. Do not embark on an overly ambitious exercise program, especially if you haven't been rec exercising regularly. You're likely to be highly enthusiastic in the beginning, but gradually become lazy and slacken because of the lack of discipline and motivation. Start on a program that you know you can continue on based on your energy level, your work schedule, and your free time. Nothing gets you off track faster than skipping your planned exercise program when you lack the time for it. That is a slippery road. And here are some suggestions for starting um, to embark on an exercise program. First of all, just walking. Walking is so good. Anything that you can do to get yourself active. You should do some type of activity every day. Bike riding, golfing, you can do strength t training, yoga or dancing, and I'm sure that you can think of about six more that you could be doing and mixing them up throughout the week, just getting out there and being active. Exercise is as simple as having fun. So many of us just sit too long in front of a computer or in front of the television, so we need to get out and get active. Here's some of the resources that we recommend. First of all, um, we recommend the Superior Ningxia Wolfberry book by Dr. Hugo Rodier, who is a medical doctor, and he really goes into the facts uh, behind the Ningxia red and the Ningxia wolfberry and how strengthening it is to the cardiovascular system. That brochure on the right hand side, 15 new discoveries that will stop heart disease, that's where we got the picture for the blood stickiness and the test that showed the difference between the blood platelets sticking together and then drinking Ningxia red and 10 minutes later the difference in the blood. And it's got some great uh, research in there by Dr. Ronald Lawrence. And also 10 essential oils for stress relief. We want to get our stress levels down to help um, uh, support our cardiovascular system. And of course, we want to always mention the essential oils desk reference. This is a, the new legacy edition and it can be purchased from lifesciencepublishers.com. We want to welcome you to Young Living. Our hearts feel good knowing that others are living happier, healthier lives because of our outreach. 
this presentation was given to you by, uh, from our hearts to yours. We thank you so much for joining us today.